Friday Club. It is Pixie. I am very excited for today's video. This is a type of content that I absolutely love to watch um, other people do and I just eat this stuff up but I feel like I really don't do a lot of like, I don't know, five outfits, one dress, challenge. I don't know. It's such a great sustainable little... <laughs> and also, I do have my exciting little My Violet dress. So I guess I'm just spoiled what this whole video is about. I thought we would do a good old-fashioned like quadruple OOTD. Um, one dress for looks. Um, and I just wanted to chat about them here and run them down. Kind of do a super fun flat lay, show you guys my try-on footage. I did do the try-on footage um, already and I've posted that to TikTok in a fun little tickly talk. But I really had so much fun and I thought it was definitely worthy of doing a whole sit-down video. So let's get into the fashion. The dress in question is, of course, our very, very gorgeous design with my violet. There actually is a little bit of stock left from sizes small to 3XL. Um, extra small did sell out, but there is still some stock left. So if your size is still available and you didn't get a chance to nab it, and maybe you're still thinking about it, we were prepared for you. It is still awaiting you. Will I deny that this video is also perhaps a wonderful advertisement for the dress? No, I shan't deny that. <laughs> but fashion is so fun. Okay, let's get into it. I actually designed this dress um, wanting it to be layerable. I love any sort of kind of dungaree or like little lacy slip that you can really mix and match the shirts underneath and cardigans over top and all sorts of things like that. I'm actually literally wearing like a layerable thing right now, but I decided that in the viewfinder it looks cooler. It's just the doki. This first look is a lavender turtle neck pairing. I did very, very matchy, matchy lilac here. It's just, sorry, I say lavender and lilac interchangeably. I know that's probably an art school no-no. Uh, uh, who knows the difference? Is, I don't know. I'd say lilac is a little bit bluier. Lavender is a little bit pinkier. Did I just make that up? Perhaps. But yes, pastel purple is always just a wonderful, wonderful accent, especially for this dress that is mostly pink and blue. This turtleneck underneath was actually a very iconic thrifted find. Um, this purse was from Truffle Shuffle from their Polly Pocket collection. I absolutely love these purses. This beret is by wonderful designer Hester Sunshine. It says, every bunny loves you on one side, or if you're mad that day, you can flip around and it says, every bunny hates you. <laughs> Yeah, just a super, super fun look. I also tacked on this little, like, super old school 6% Doki Doki star dangle clip on the beret. Literally, like, as an afterthought, and I forgot about it, and then I was re-watching the footage, and I was like, that is cute as f I should really wear that more. Anytime I wear these shoes, I get a ton, a ton, a ton of comments on them. I got those in Japan in one of those really awesome little shoe stores. It's called CST and P, like ampersand, like letters CST, ampersand P. I don't know, it's awesome, definitely fast fashion, like this was before I had changed my ways, but I would love to find some secondhand CST and P on like the Japanese Yahoo auctions or whatever. I should look for that. It is Japanese sizing though, I'm a size 8 shoe in like US Canadian sizing and um, I'm their extra large and even then um, sometimes it's a squeeze. <laughs> This next look is a wonderful lemon yellow sunshine extravaganza. Sorry, I like yellow. I realize I don't actually have any like yellow shoes, um, but anyway, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I love yellow. It's my second favorite color after pink. So I've paired our amazing dress with this Lucy and Yak uh, lettuce hem crop tee underneath. So freaking cute. I've gotten so much wear out of that shirt as well, just side note. Um, and to accentuate the yellow as well, I have these earrings. These are from an Etsy seller, um, Gloss and Shimmer, but they don't really do clay earrings anymore. They've switched to like acrylic, so these are a rare <laughs> vintage, vintage from a year ago. Mama, that's just retro. Okay. But yes, yellow accents, so, so fun, so lemony, sunshiny. I love yellow and pink. It is just friggin' the best combo. Um, the jewelry, the very classy adult woman jewelry is of course one of those smiley face wire like carnival prize flowers on my wrist. 
Those will never die. You can literally pry those from my frigging hands in my literal casket. <laughs> Trigger warning for death mention, but I love those flowers. And like I mentioned, I realized I don't actually have any yellow shoes, so I wore these amazing see-through glitter jellies that my mom actually gifted me last Christmas because she saw that my previous pair was so falling apart, like, the back of one of the heels, or both of them, got like burnt and scorched black because I left them against a heater. Oh, and this little gingham hair wrap. This is just a staple. I mean, trying to cover up your roots, trying to get rid of the flyaways, trying to just look friggin' cute as hell. You need a little gingham bandana wrappy thing. Oh, and on my other wrist, I threw this little Claire's Valentine's season from many, many seasons ago bracelet. It's just a bunch of cute little candy hearts that are glittery. This third look is a little bit of a business edition. <laughs> I'm just wearing a blazer. Oh my god, my besties actually spotted this thrift find and like messaged me. They've done that several times and that is so very valuable and blessed. Your thrift game will be upped like several times over if you get epic pals that understand your style that will be like, hey, do you want this? Want to eat trace for me? I'll get it. That's what happened here. Iconic. This is a pink gingham blazer. It is a freaking size 12. It actually fits me. It is the perfect shade of pink. Like, I'm literally crying inside. I can't believe I own this. I need to do a beautiful business exec look with this. But yes, the pink gingham with the pink dress with the blue and yellow gingham. I'm sorry, I'm having fun. Ooh, the shoe is a little bit of an edit on the previous shoe look. I have my pink flat jellies here with the pink and blue peep socks, exact same sock as before. I got those at a dollar store many Easter's ago as well. It's like I'm going to like a business meeting, but for like a funny children like puppet show or something, you know? Like the mismatched peep socks plus the blazer is like, where am I going? I like it though. This really is like dress for the job you want, not the job you have. I guess this is my job. Wow. I love you guys. That's crazy. This is me at my job. Ah! But yes, 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 moving on. The beret, I actually made this beret in school. Um, we had a production class where we had to uh, do the same of one design like six times over. So this was one of my cute little berets made out of fuzzy rainbow friggin' faux fur, friggin' frig. Yeah, I love this thing. I also get a lot of compliments on this when I wear it. Hee hee hee. And these earrings are the amazing Lucky Bean earrings by Peachy Bean Ink. I love, I love, sweet friend Bean in, uh, I was gonna say in Canada. I'm also in Canada. In Ontario. Iconic. Sweet. Going to the coolest business meeting ever. Yeah. CEO. Entrepreneur. That's me. This last look is also very, very fun. A little bit more of a cutesy, I, I don't wanna say less mature, but okay, I have twin tails and each uh, ponytail is, is secured by another carnival flower in mismatch and colors. I described this as my fun Fetty look um, because all of the accents that I paired around the dress were kind of meant to be like a white base with like rainbow you know, the color of Funfetti, Funfetti, the color. So I have this amazing cardigan. Uh, this was secondhand. I got this from one of those awesome um, Instagram like vintage stores. Frigging amazing. I absolutely love this thing. These shoes I got in New York. I think they're Dolls Killer Current Mood or something, but I got them at that um, Spark Pretty store in New York City. The bag, this is probably, if I had to make a list of my favorite purses, this would probably be on it. This is the Betsy Johnson friggin, I don't know what it's called, Life's a Slice of Cake. This is an epic Betsy Johnson birthday cake bag. Got this for my birthday many, 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 many moons ago. It's kind of hard to hold, like, if, if you hold it, the cake is like, normal cake facing up, but I want you to like see the cute celebrate face, so I don't know. I always find I have to hold this thing weird, but it's so friggin' cute. It's ridiculous. Again, sporting the lucky bean earrings because all the flavors of the rainbow are coming into this outfit. Yeah, this is fun. This is just like, yeah, I'm going to a party and I'm the clown and it's epic. 
So yeah, those are the outfits that I made for my little four outfits, one dress. Um, I will admit I tried to do a five outfits, one dress, and I was trying to make like a beautiful um, lime green accented coordinate, but I don't have enough good lime green stuff. I like managed to pair all my lime together, but it just wasn't quite worthy. So um, yeah, but I did see, ooh, I've seen, let's, let's take this opportunity to share uh, the cutie pictures and videos and evidence. The evidence that this is a real dress. Um, yes, I've already been seeing some amazing angels in the dress on social media, so that just makes my heart sing to the sky and back. Before I wrap up this video, I just want to take a sec to pay some bills and thank this sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare! Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes for you to discover and enjoy. Whether you're looking to hone a craft that you already are a bit familiar in, or if you have something that you've always kind of wanted to try or something new you want to try but you have no idea where to go, Skillshare is the place. Skillshare offers classes on all kinds of topics like illustration, fine art, music, graphic design, photography, animation, creative writing, just so, so much. I personally have been lately loving these classes on using Procreate specifically. I am a goop and a ghast at all the things that Procreate can do. This class, Hand Lettering in Procreate Fundamentals to Finishing Touches by Gia Graham has been absolutely amazing. I love typography and stuff for logos and things like that. So I'm super excited to see what I learn. I love that Skillshare is curated for learning, meaning there are no ads that interrupt your learning flow. That just drives me absolutely crazy. Other classes are usually about an hour or less uh, in total, but they're broken up into many different little tiny video segments for you to consume at your own pace. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So yes, thank you again to Skillshare for always supporting the channel. I need a confetti member and I need to go to therapy. <laughs> like, like now. <laughs> I need to like leave like now. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Ah, ah, I love when there's a relevant art. Oh, this is so wonderful. From Clockwork Queer, wonderful angel, always supporting the channel. This video's Fitch Confetti Club member is this amazing artwork by Clockwork Queer. Ah, in the aforementioned famous dress. So cute, so sweet. The style you have for faces and bodies is just so expressive and fun. This is such a wonderful, wonderful illustration. The hair, the face, the pose, the friggin' line art depth. Like, oh my god, this is amazing. Thank you so, so much for sharing. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one's over. Bye.